What's going on, guys? It's Mr. DEVT, Joe Lorg for the Money Etiquette Group, and I want to talk about the upcoming IPO from the online retail giant Revolve Group. Now, for those unfamiliar with Revolve Group, they're an online shopping community, okay? They're an online shopping website, which carries about 500 different brands, and they're pushed heavily in the social media world. They use about 2,500 different social media influencers to push uh, shopping at their website and the different brands that can be purchased at their website. Unlike a lot of uh, IPOs that have recently been put out there in the market, uh, this company is profitable. In 2016, I believe they made maybe $2.4 million. And then in 2017, they made $5 million. I don't have the 2018 numbers yet. But if they stayed on that same track, then they may have made up to $10 million if they stayed at that same pace. Uh, but nevertheless, this is a company that last year, I believe their uh, year ends March 31st. Uh, 2019, that's when they had their year end, they had an, uh, reported 520 plus million dollars worth of revenue and sales. Again, 520 million dollars. So we talk, we're talking about a company that in the next two years could see $1 billion in sales. Uh, they're going to be released on the New York Stock Exchange. The ticker symbol will be RVLV. Again, RV. LV and shares are estimated to be coming out at about 16 to 18 dollars. Now, you know, if you're into buying IPOs and shares when they first become available, usually it's going to be a little bit higher for someone that's not an institutional investor. An institutional investor means like your big banks, your big conglomerates, they really get it at the bottom level pricing. You, as a one person, uh, consumer as an individual, uh, you may have to pay a little bit more. So I would say maybe look into the 20 to $25 uh, price range when they are released, um, depending on what type of hype they get. And if you know someone like Kramer recommends, it is a buy. So keep that in mind. Uh, also, uh, just to put out there, there are a few things you should think about. They do have operations in China. And with the current trade dispute, you know, trade war, whatever you want to call it with the United States and China, you might want to keep that in mind because certainly it would affect their operations, their manufacturing, and of course that affects their revenues. Also something else to note about their stock, they're only issuing class A and class B stock with no dividends, okay? They're saying that they need to use that money for expansion and they need to put that money back into the company so their stock will not be paying out dividends. And lastly, we do expect the stock to be available as of next week, I'm talking about the week of June 3rd. They say final pricing will be out before June 3rd. So look for early next week to have pricing and maybe by the end of next week towards the Thursday, Friday date of the shares may hit the market. Again, ticker symbol RVLV on the New York Stock Exchange. If you are a person that just signed up for Robinhood or maybe for E-Trade, understand that when you wanna buy these stocks, there's not an IPO section. You have to put in the ticker symbol to make sure you're in position to make that purchase. And the earlier you're in, usually the better, depending on what the noise is behind uh, before the stock is issued. So keep that in mind, guys. Next week, we should see this hit the, hit the market. The pricing, the final pricing, will happen earlier next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday. I'm talking about you know June 3rd, you know something June 4th, June 5th. But by the end of the week, that's when we expect to see the stock become available. For all those who are fans of Revolve, who use the website, who shop with them, who maybe even be an, you may be an influencer or you may see that one of your favorite influencers uh, promotes their products and their brands and certainly their shopping site, let me know what you feel about them. Let me know how you feel if you think that this is a good business model. A lot of people are kind of worried because they feel like it's risky to have so much of your marketing tied into social media influencers since it's such a new way to gain leverage over consumers and gain a better understanding of consumers. But again, guys, uh, let me know how you feel because I'm not quite sure about the company. I don't use the services, but I would love to hear what you guys think. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Timing is essential when you want to purchase stocks, invest, when you want to make certain moves, you need to know what's happening in the economy real time. If you want to be updated on things like this and including other talks about budgeting, credit, home buying, whatever, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button. As I release videos, you'll be notified and you'll be the first to be able to get that information and also comment and add your piece because what you say is appreciated. All right, guys, have a good one.